Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today guys for another Ghost Recon Wildlands in depth. In today's video we are going to be talking about the G2 Assault Rifle. We're going to talk about the stats, where you can find it and all that stuff. It is a very fun assault rifle to use. I've actually used it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, the first time I actually used it, it was kind of so-so. Um, it, it shoots very quickly but it does take a lot of bullets sometimes to drop enemies, especially like an he a heavy enemy. But to overall, it's a very, very fun assault rifle to use. So this is the G2 assault rifle. It does kind of look like, um, if you guys want to compare it to other games, it kind of looks like a FAMAS from one of the old Call of Duties and stuff like that. But it is a French bullpup assault rifle. And I have it set up with the same RUS red dot, full uh, full auto semi magazine. We've got a 50 round magazine on it with an AFG front grip. Standard barrel because it does not have a long barrel. And then I have the suppressor on it. And I do switch out the compensator and stuff like that. But it is located in Incacamina, down in the bottom left-hand corner of the region, and it is very, it is out in the middle of nowhere. It's this little tiny hunting shack or whatever that's out in the middle of nowhere. There's like five or six enemies. That's the clip you guys saw at the start of the video. And it's not really that hard to get. It's just getting there. If you don't have access to a helicopter, it is very, very hard to get there. But uh, overall, it is a very, very fun weapon to use. It puts out about 750 rounds per minute. And the single shot is very, very accurate. It doesn't have as much bullet drop as you would think it would. But the only thing I do have to complain about this weapon is the fact that even in full auto mode, if, especially if the enemy has detected you, because I believe, I guess I said, still believe there's an HP boost when they, they are detected. But uh, it seems like it does take a lot of bullets sometimes, especially when it's a heavy enemy. You have to put like 10, 15 bullets into somebody, it feels like, to kill them. But with the amount, especially when you have the 50 round magazine on this weapon and how fast it shoots, like I said, it shoots 750 rounds per minute. It puts bullets down range very, very quickly. And it also is very, very accurate weapon. Even in full auto mode with that, with that fire rate, it does not have a lot of recoil. Right now, I do have the front grip on it. Um, you can swap that out for a grenade launcher if you're one of those guys that really wants to be able to take out vehicles quite quickly, which I do. I kind of switch back and forth between how my setup is. Most of the time, I do run a front grip, um, and I just try to evade the vehicles. But uh, overall, you know, it doesn't need a grenade launcher. It just depends on your play style, which pretty much however you set this weapon up all depends on your play style. But I really, really enjoy this weapon in single shot mode. It really, really feels good. It puts enemies down quickly. You don't have to shoot them in the head, which in this game, most people die in one shot anyway. But I've even one shot Unidead guys that have body armor by not hitting them in the head with this weapon. It is a very, very good weapon. And if you guys have not yet tried it, I strongly recommend that you do because it is a lot of fun to use and it is a very, very good weapon. But that is pretty much all for the weapon breakdown. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you've used this weapon, if you have not used this weapon, and how you feel about it and everything like that. And uh, let me know if you guys used it after this video. Let me know how you guys enjoyed it. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found it helpful and you guys are going to go try the G2 Assault Rifle, make sure to leave a like on the video, guys. It would be much appreciated. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Ghost Recon Wildland content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.